A good level takes the player on a short journey. The player's got to start off saying, well, I, I know how to do these things in this game world, but by the end of the level, they've been forced to learn something new or add something else to their repertoire. And a good level design is like a good plot in a story. It introduces all those elements one by one, and then slowly it mixes them together until you have a little explosion at the end where you need to use everything. It's about working out what the, what the player wants to do and what will be fun for the player and then working out a way to create that experience. You lay things out in such a way that people are guided around and see cool things and do cool things and have the kind of experience you want them to have. Level design, on its first kind of basis, it comes down to that kind of progression taking you from the tutorial through the learning curve of the game. Each level's getting that little bit more difficult and before you know it, you've learned this whole set of skills within the context of the game. Level design is about balancing your games. It's about making your games not too easy or not too hard. It's just having the right uh, challenges at every moment for, for the users, which is always in some ways increasing, but at the right pace. You need to have an attention to detail. You've got to take into account when is the level at the beginning of the game or the end of the game, how difficult it is, obviously. What do you want the players to be feeling? What do you want them to be thinking about as they're playing this game? Do you want them to feel kind of like uh, they've got plenty of choice, so you'll have a nice open level? Or do you want to feel that, that sense of kind of claustrophobia and sort of going through narrow tunnels? And it's just the emotions and the feelings that you want the player to experience as they're playing the game. Good level design in games comes from knowing the difference between challenging and frustrating. Good level design challenges the player, bad level design frustrates the player. Make a level, get players to play the level, and then listen to the feedback as well. See what people like, what people don't like. It's a balance, so you need to be able to have your vision, but also take on board what people say about it.